It's about the general public being criminals because the criminals are taking over the governments. We're slaves. We act like slaves. We're not land of the free, home of the brave. They would never try this before. Now they've got the surveillance. Now they've got the control. And we've gone along with it. And so they're going to take everything you've got, folks, and they're going to slowly kill you with the coronavirus vaccines. And coronavirus vaccines have already been developed, and they're going to roll them out after you beg for them. Here's Fauci last night telling you the emergency is never going to end. Of course not. It's a power grab. It's a medical dictatorship that is going to forcibly inoculate you. Judges in Florida and New York have announced forced inoculations and had rulings, judicial tyranny, that when there's a vaccine, you're going to take it. Or the police are coming to give you a lead inoculation. If we get to the part of the curve that uh, Dr. Burke showed yesterday when it goes down to essentially no new cases, no oh. deaths at a period of time, I think it makes sense that you're going to have to relax social dis uh, distancing. Of this is planet hysteria. In the world. Planet hypochondria. This. Planet and slave. We all came to the agreement that we may have cycling with another season. Oh, yeah. We'll be much better prepared. We likely will have you down. But the ultimate game changer in this will be a vaccine. Bill Gates wants in your body. He says there's too many of you. He says vaccines will reduce your fertility on record. And he wants in your body, and he'll get in there. <laughs> they couldn't abort you and your mommy. They're going to abort your ass now. It'll kill you slow, and the medical system will suck your money out while they do it. And the taxpayers will pay for liability protection. But they're talking about giving total liability protection, period, where you can't even get a settlement for vaccine damage. They're going to kill all of you, and you're going to love it. Police officers, military, everybody, prepare to die. The robots are replacing you. Well, we have all lived to see it. Open, tyrannical world government based on medical tyranny, forced inoculation, robot surveillance, and the general public turned into Stasi slash Nazi slash KGB Maoist enforcers. And Fox Business is the worst. They have all their hosts at home because it's too deadly for them to even go out. And they've got Elmo uh, there talking to adults about how to wash their hands. And, and I'm going to explain how this mind control works in a moment. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and go to this clip. It's pedophile Elmo. <laughs> By the way, the creator of Elmo, the, the guy that first played him, is a non pedophile convicted. Wash your hands for 20 seconds, just like Elmo. Just like pedophile Elmo. Combating the coronavirus. I'm prepared to do whatever is necessary. So, governments all over the world want power. The big mega corporations write up the script. They had their disease X drills two years ago. They have their event 201 for martial law with the coronavirus. The Pentagon is briefed on it. 200 billionaires and CEOs plus dump all of their major stock, in some cases all of it, in most cases large portions of it, in December and January at the very top of the market, knowing full well what was going on. Now, I have said in the last nine weeks since this really got cranking, when this wasn't even a news issue, I said, you watch their lockdown over there. This is man-made. It's coming over here. This is the new world order. Because they'd said in the Rockefeller Foundation documents, not just lockstep 10 years ago, but other documents, that this was how, by the year 2020, they were going to bring in world government. Now, in the last segment of this hour, we put together an extremely informative, powerful report that is going to premiere here that lays out admissions by the establishment technocrats that by 2020, they would launch the bio attack. They said 2020. We will have world government by 2020, no matter how much money and how much blood it costs. That is in congressional hearings in the 
80s and 90s. We will have world government by 2020, and it will be paid for with money and blood. That's the exact quote. Look it up. You see who said it. And there's many other similar quotes. And now they're announcing world government, total surveillance. They have the apps. They have the phones. They have the drones that tracks you in live time. And you go in every week and get your finger pricked. And all these tests are rolling out. They're already ready. They make you beg for them first. DrudgeReport.com, half of humanity on lockdown. Bill Gates is the savior all over the news. He predicted it. He's a hero when he's not hanging out at Jeffrey Epstein's house and getting caught lying about it or funding secret programs with him or funding TV shows attacking yours truly. Bill Gates calls for nationwide social isolation policy to slow coronavirus spread. Yeah, now you can't even leave your house. The army is going to deliver your food. Notice they tighten the noose. They tighten the noose. They tighten the vice on your head. And let me give you the big, giant announcement. I have told you for nine weeks that once they implement this, if we cower in fear properly and grovel, it will then become a permanent emergency by saying, we can't let one person die from this virus. And so until there's no death, zero, out of seven and a half billion people, it's impossible. We are going to keep the social distancing and the lockdown in place. And Fauci said just that last night. And he said, I just talked to all the world leaders last night, all the big world health leaders, and they agree only the vaccine will save us. Now, they know the public's ignorant on average about virology and all of these systems and the immune system, immunology. You understand that the coronavirus is the most common virus on terra firma. It's everywhere. It's the cold virus. It's the common cold. And you always heard, if you read bioweapons manuals and studies in Congress, they were always worried about someone weaponizing the common cold. Because the common cold already kills, they estimate, around 50 million people a year globally. Look it up. So you can hype up the common cold and show people that are always dying, hype up what's happening in the hospitals, create incredible fear. But it isn't just a common cold. It reinfects, it comes back, it's a nasty virus. That's, that's settled. But the people launching it are ones that said they want world government and want to depopulate on record. And now they're the saver that want to save old people. And they'll do anything to save old people. And of course, we told you eight, nine weeks ago that it was mainly killing men. It's not just old people, folks. It's men. We're going to get to those statistics today. It's a weapon. But you have to be deficient. All of the evidence is mounting of zinc and vitamin D and vitamin C to be able to die from it because those are defenses. Zinc blocks it inside and outside the cell. Go to NIH and type in zinc. We've saved it. They'll probably take it down. It says it protects the cells, immunity, and it's essential. You die without it, but they won't give it to children or old people or men. And doctors could always order it and order prescriptions, even though it wasn't a drug. They could have it covered by insurance. <laughs> Guess what? We're getting calls, and I confirmed it. Suddenly, the FDA is saying, we're not covering zinc and vitamin C. You're not getting it, you dirty, filthy scum! And Media Matters, George Soros' firm, and the groups that bet against the stock market, like Ackerman, Ackman, are out there saying, you don't take vitamin C and you don't take zinc and you lay down and you die. These people hate you and your family and they want maximum death out of this to scare the hell out of everyone. When we come back, I'm gonna play Fauci saying all this, but the first thing I want you to know is this. My parents are strong, healthy people. My mom was a master swimmer didn't even get into kind of swimming until she was 30. And she beat people that got silver and gold medals in the Olympics. So she used to go run triathlons and stuff. She took a flu shot when UT said she should do it when she was like 48 years old and almost killed her. And then she never competed again. Okay? A bunch of the team got sick. She knows all this. My own mother said... 
don't come over here with your kids to the house. So I went and talked to her and she said, well, actually, I don't think it's a big deal, but I just don't want to scare the neighbors and I just want to comply. And I figured you didn't want to bring your kids out. And I talked to my dad about it and her, and they go, well, it is just a social thing during this. And so everyone's showing to the other person, everyone, almost everyone I talk to thinks it's bull. I talked to an airline pilot yesterday, a bunch of people. They all think it's bull, but they're still going along with it because they think everyone else is into it. But national polls show the majority of people do think it's overhyped and fear-mongering. So see, it's all of us enforcing on ourselves with adult television with Elmo telling us wash our hands. That's an ad you know, pointed at you like you're an idiot. This is all about the end of the human civilization. They're now admitting that every fall and every winter and spring, that's three quarters of the year, they're gonna lock everybody down. And you're gonna work from home and you'll get passes to travel and do things. This is it. This is the AI takeover, the megaopolis, their official plan, everything I said in Endgame, because it's their plan. And Big Pharma and the globalist launched it through China. Fauci's run it since the 80s. They're all guilty with level four bioweapons labs. They're the cause, they're big pharma, they're the tyranny, they're the enemy, and here's a bigger key. Again, they never pick, they admit this, the right flu virus mutation every year to ever give you immunity. The flu inoculations never worked on record. All it does is lower your immunity the next year. Well, Corona's even more out of control. No vaccine will ever work on record. So it's a giant hoax. Sure, there's always been flus, there's always been viruses. There's been bioweapons released in World War II. On record, the Nazis did, on the Russians and others. And there have been bioweapons that got out. It's confirmed that Lyme's disease was a U.S. government weapon. Plum Island, the deer swam across a mile or so over to the mainland. They were carrying the ticks that had it into New York, into Connecticut. And so the very groups that have this long history of doing this, and all these level four bioweapon labs, and they admit that at least three times the Chinese have leaked stuff that's become global crises. And now it happens again. And we're told it came from a bat. Yeah, right. And humans came from a monkey fish frog. Married a turtle. Starting into some South Park jokes there, but they told us they would take over. They drilled the corporations, the universities, the governments for the last 30, 40 years that it would probably be a coronavirus that would mutate and be deadly, more deadly than the usual cold, and that we'd have to end freedom as we know it and have total surveillance because of it. And that's it. Because it's not a human attacking us, it's this alien being. But it is alien because it's man-made. It's not of this world. It's not even a naturally occurring virus. But it's man-made so that they know its trajectory now. 20 years ago, they couldn't do this. Now, in the last 15, it's on record. So imagine what else they've got. They can edit and manufacture a virus and know how it's going to mutate 30, 40, 50, 60 replications down. So usually viruses mutate and then sometimes get deadly, rarely, and then they quickly burn themselves out. This baby seems to be getting worse. Well, I said that nine weeks ago. I said these universities say it's man-made. It's got all these different systems put on it. It attacks four different parts of the body at least, and it comes back. Soft kill weapon. People go, well, wait, then I better be scared. It doesn't matter. It's here to take your rights. They're saying now, officially, that if it saves one life, well, let's say they got rid of all the virus forever. That's impossible. Then governments would just say somebody died from it. And now, because one person jumped off the side of a diving board once wrong in 1980, they didn't jump out. They jumped over like an idiot, six feet to the side, and broke their leg. They sued the local pool, and they got rid of the diving board, and more lawsuits got filed. We don't have diving boards. We don't have dodgeball. Now most schools don't let people have tag, or they're getting rid of physical education in many places because someone might get hurt. They're trying to ban football. And it's that mindset, and now someone might die from a virus, and so we will end the lockdown, says the head officer running this, who has worked for Bill Gates for 30 years 
gotten $100 million grants, Dr. Fauci. So Bill Gates is operative. And it looks like Trump's in with Bill Gates, man. I think Trump overall is a good guy, but I mean, he, he didn't go with Bezos uh, and uh, Amazon for putting the Pentagon on the cloud. The Pentagon shouldn't be on a, a, a cloud of somebody else's. That's, that, that's treason right there. And, and instead, Microsoft gets the contract. I mean, Bill Gates has really cozied up uh, to uh, the Trumplet and the Orange Man, and it's, it's just out of control, folks. I'm just telling it like it is. So there's all this delusion out there because people are scared when this happens. They want to believe good news. Well, Q says we're rounding up all the criminals, and Q says everything's about to stop, and Q says that this is all, you know, a master plan of Trump. No, it's the same people that have been trying to take Trump out doing this. He's riding the tiger and embracing it as we advise him to do so they don't remove him during the crisis because the public bought the hysteria. He had to partially go with it. So he's in a leadership position to then dial it back, which he's trying to do. But Fauci is up there saying, I talked to all the other world leaders over medicine of the major governments, and we can't let there be one death. And the lockdown can never stop. Well, you notice China announced the lockdown again today. Oh, because it popped back up. It, it's any province, they want to round up political dissidents. Any province, they want to shut down. It's total power. And they said they'd do it in all these documents we cover in the last segment of this hour. Very powerful report. We're about to premiere. Very powerful. Very proud of it. First rate. Rob New stayed up super late with Darren McBrain and others to get this done. So... I'll tell you about that coming up. It's so critical. But let's go out to break with Fauci, and I want you to listen to what he says. And then when we come back, I'm going to go through this minute, 21-second clip. It'll take probably five minutes to start and stop because the whole agenda, and he is as happy as a pig in SH-T. I mean, he looks like he's having an orgasm because his guild, his mad scientist guild, this guy leads the level four bioweapons labs. A villain. We told you this, you know, 10 weeks ago. He started trying to sabotage Trump. Trump was about to fire him. So now he acts friendly to Trump, but only to stab him in the back later once the depression hits. And Trump knows that. And you notice our advice to the president's been dead on, ahead of the curve, and Trump's listening. That's no brag, just facts. People understand the importance of this broadcast that you've commissioned, that you finance, that you fund to keep us in the game, to give the president real analysis when all, all, everyone else is scared. Because you go up against these globalists, and you're not just a yes man. They will try to kill you, sue you, sabotage you, lie about you. Well, that's fine, because we're all dead anyways if they get their way. They've announced a world government depopulation plan. My God, folks, people keep asking, how's everything coming true? Jones said, it's not coming true. If there's a cleaning lady at somebody's house, and somebody leaves a file out, and she moves it, and it falls over, and opens up, and... There's child porn and, 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 and images of kids being tortured to death. It doesn't come true when she gives it to the police and they go bust them. It already happened. It's like finding the plans to, to you know, rob a bank. They already are planning it. So when it starts happening, we have the damn plans. Holy Toledo. We're going to go to break with Fauci. Here he is laying out your futures, permanent lockdown, because there's always going to be new viruses, forced inoculations. It's just, it's a nightmare. It's their takeover. Here it is. Possible or safe without a vaccine or a treatment in place? Yeah, I think if we get to the part of the curve that uh, Dr. Burke showed yesterday when it goes down to essentially no new cases, no deaths at a period of time, I think it makes sense that you're going to have to relax social dis uh, distancing. The one thing we hopefully would have in place, and I believe we will have in place, is a much more robust system to be able to identify someone who's infected, isolate them, and then do contact tracing. Because if you have a really good um, program of containment that prevents you from ever having to get into mitigation, we're in mitigation right now. That's what the social and, and physical distancing is. The ultimate, the ultimate solution to a virus that might keep coming back would be a vaccine. Uh, in fact, I, I was on the weekly conference call with the WHO-sponsored group of all the health leaders in the world who are dealing with this. And we all came to the agreement that we may have cycling with another season 
We'll be much better prepared. We likely will have interventions. But the ultimate game changer in this will be a vaccine, the same way a vaccine for other diseases that were scourges in the past. I know there's a lot of psyops going on on the Internet. All the places were banned, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. And you see YouTube, Twitter, Facebook boosting posts that say Trump secretly taking over, Trump secretly defeating the deep state. Uh, the, the, the hospital ships are really you know, holding prisoners and Hillary's been arrested and she's in Guantanamo. None of that's true. That's a psyop so conservatives don't come out and say this is wrong what's happening and this is our Bill of Rights and Constitution being overthrown. You had 20 governors last time I checked, now they've all backpedaled saying, do not give vitamin C, do not give zinc, do not give z -Pak, do not give hydroxychloroquine. And they found out doctors were indeed giving people tonic because it has the natural form of it, the original form of it, it's British medicine, that's why it's called a tonic. They made the troops take. And you saw all hell break loose against Trump, Balasaro, uh, Tucker Carlson, D D D Laura Ingram, Sean Hannity, Project Veritas got their videos banned because Oliver Darcy tattled and said, look, they're talking to nurses and doctors and they're saying they think it's hyped up. You're not allowed to talk to doctors that say it's overblown. No hope is allowed. That's a concerted authoritarian move to shut down everybody's speech and it's deadly dangerous. And yes, we told Trump eight weeks ago, if you don't get ahead of this, this is really a, at the economy. They're going to use it to plunge the economy. Well, now Trump's beginning to go overboard. So we've known what the Rockefeller Foundation, the Carnegie Foundation, the Microsoft, Bill and Melinda Gates operation wants. Why they set up the UN. Bill Gates' dad was involved in that, not just Planned Parenthood, running it. Now, these people mean business, as I tell you. And now they're saying no one can ever die. And we've got to, whatever it takes, drones, checkpoints, a phone that scans you, an app, when you non-essential, you can't go out. And we're bubble prisoners being herded into the bubble cities, which Microsoft, Apple, Google, Twitter, Facebook, Amazon are all officially now building. The little inner city smart grid. And now, oh, we're going to seal buildings so that there's not a problem. And, oh, we're going to scan you for viruses. And, oh, we have little fingerprint prick things that are coming out to let you know. And then everyone gets into it, and it's like a new form of hospitality or uh, gentlemanliness, manners, to go, oh, I'm sorry. First it was six feet. Now I can't get 27 feet away. Oh, sorry. Oh, my phone says I'm essential. I get to go out. My app says China has this in place now. It's being announced for us here. You notice Fauci says in the clip that I'm about to play again, he says, last night the press conference says, oh, you know, we're going to have surveillance systems that know we're going to catch it and we're going to have people locked down. I watched the whole press conference last night. And we're going to probably have to cycle this and throttle it. And, oh, oh, you can't go out here. You can't go out there. They're going to have a county by county thing at first. And just getting us all trained that we can't go out until we're told. And that's the way it is to keep us safe from the virus. And we're so domesticated and so soft and such TV heads waddling around now on average that people are getting into it now because they don't want to go to work and most people at most jobs aren't even working anyways. Hospitals are empty all over the country because most surgeries are elective and things and people hypochondriac and people get constant medical stuff because they want the pain pills. There are whole industries where they're doing constant surgeries per finger and people get, you know, surgeries every month so they get their pain pills. Whereas every time they put you under, it causes brain damage. Now, the reason there's so many brain damaged people everywhere is the average person's had like 15 surgeries by 50. Type in anesthesia causes major brain damage every time. So it's just dementia everywhere and the floor on the water and people, Ugh, and they got you almost ready. And now it's going to be yearly coronavirus vaccines Oh, and the flu is killing tens of thousands too, so you got to have that or you can't fly and can't travel and bosses aren't getting uh, employees, uh, you know, jobs if they don't con concur. I mean, after corona, things changed. 
and it's all scripted, it's all admitted to be scripted, but you had to have the censorship before because you couldn't have me on YouTube right now with 20 million views per video, with everyone going, gosh, this guy talked about it for years, he laid it all out. No, 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 you can't have that, you see. So here's Fauci, there's a consensus, it's gonna be a vaccine. Yeah, we're gonna cycle, you know, on and off during the season, the cold season, now you can't leave unless we say. And notice it's first, oh, only bars and restaurants, and no, now it's, you know, you can't be at the park now. First, like, well, we wanted you to be at the park in Austin, but now you can't. And they're arresting surfers who by themselves are out a quarter mile off the shore in California, Oregon, and other areas. The police come and they go out on their jet skis and they put you in handcuffs. But the murderers and rapists, actual murderers, I saw an article where in New York, they released a guy that had killed his wife and daughter 10 years ago. Just murdered him, tied him up, slit their throats, he's out. But boy, if we catch you selling hand sanitizer that you already had, you're going to jail, bub, because it's about the general public being criminals because the criminals are taking over the governments. And the blue cities let it, and the big media let it, and they did it all. And now Trump, everybody else is going along with it, and Everybody I talk to goes, oh, can't shake your hand. I go, but you know it's bull. You know that it, it, it's, it's way exaggerated. They go, yeah, I know. I just thought maybe you didn't want to shake hands. So everyone just, we're slaves. We act like slaves. We're not land of the free, home of the brave. They would never try this before. Now they've got the surveillance. Now they've got the control. And we've gone along with it. And so they're going to take everything you've got, folks, and they're going to slowly kill you with the coronavirus vaccines. And coronavirus vaccines are already been developed, and they're going to roll them out after you beg for them. Let's go ahead and play Fauci again. Here's Fauci last night telling you the emergency is never going to end. Of course not. It's a power grab. It's a medical dictatorship that is going to forcibly inoculate you. Judges in Florida and New York have announced forced inoculations and had rulings judicial tyranny, that when there's a vaccine, you're going to take it. Or the police are coming to give you a lead inoculation. <laughs> and the drones are now being weaponized. <laughs> Don't give us a, oh, the oh, the robots will enforce. Here's Fausti, here he is. Possible or safe without a vaccine or a treatment in place? Yeah, I think if we get to the part of the curve that uh, Dr. Burke showed yesterday when it goes down to essentially no new cases, no oh. deaths at a period of time. I think it makes sense that you're going to have to relax social dis uh, distancing. The one thing we hopefully would have in place, and I believe we will have in place, okay, is a much it. more robust system oh, to be able to identify someone who's infected, isolate them, and then do contact tracing. Because if you have a really good um, program of containment that prevents you from ever having to get into mitigation. We're in mitigation right now. That's what the social and, and physical distancing is. The ultimate and they can the release stuff anytime they want. And control to a virus that might keep coming back would be a vaccine. Uh, in fact, I, I was on the weekly conference call with the WHO sponsored group. Of this is all planet the hysteria in the world. Planet the hypochondria. This. Planet and slave. We came to the agreement that we may have cycling with another season. Oh, yeah. We'll be much better prepared. We likely will Locking have you down. But the ultimate game changer in this will be a vaccine, the same way a vaccine for other diseases. That Even though they never the can guess the right flu or cold vaccine. Why could they never have a vaccine for the cold? The coronavirus is the main cold bug. Because it's always changing. It's got to be exact. But they don't care. Bill Gates wants in your body. He says there's too many of you. He says vaccines will reduce your fertility on record. And he wants in your body, and he'll get in there. Uh, they couldn't abort you and your mommy. They're going to abort your ass now. It'll kill you slow, and the medical system will suck your money out while they do it. And the taxpayers will pay for liability protection. But they're talking about giving total liability protection, period, where you can't even get a settlement for vaccine damage. They're going to kill all of you, and you're going to love it. Police officers, military, everybody, prepare to die. The robots are replacing you. And whatever you do, don't get X3 60% off. Don't get our ultimate... Uh, you know, products here, like the Real Red Pill Plus with all the vitamins, minerals, zinc. Do not, it will not help you. Only vaccines. Take them.
Now it's easier than ever to have Band.Video on your iPhone. Simply go to Band.Video with your Safari browser. Then you click the share button at the bottom of the screen. When the menu comes up, you simply click add to home screen. It will then ask you to name the app. I suggest Band.Video. You will now have Band.Video app on your home screen, despite the fact that Tim Cook tried to stop it. The globalists think you're lazy, but by taking a little bit of action, you can override them, have the app, and then tell others about it so they can get the app. So it's up to you whether you want to defy big tech and click the share buttons below on your email, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, however you want, be sure and share Band.Video. A lot of listeners and viewers are confused by what I've been saying. So that's my fault. They say, Alex, you said this virus is really deadly, man-made, and it's a serious issue eight weeks ago. Now you're saying it's overhyped and is a psychological warfare weapon and that everything's okay, which is it? That's not what I'm saying. This is a complex, fast-moving issue, and it's my fault that I get caught in the weeds and go into a little minutia. Let me just be very simple and boil it down as succinctly as possible. From our best research, this is man-made, and it was released to distract from the fact that Xi Jinping and the Chai Coms were getting kicked out of Taiwan and had their own big protests on the mainland. Then it came to Europe and the United States, and it does kill a lot of sick and old people, and that's a big problem. And we know that it mutates, and we know that it reinfects. We know there's a lot of issues to be concerned about. But as we discovered more, we found out the Chai Coms had over exaggerated the number of deaths to create fear and work with Western media that was pro Xi Jinping and pro Chai Com, but anti Trump, anti America, and that indeed it was an economic warfare weapon. That was its main thrust. Doesn't mean the weapon doesn't kill people. But if you're going to release a bioweapon, a lot of times you want to release one that's weak so that you know what it's going to do and doesn't blow back on you too hard. It's more of a simulant to scare people. So we now know what's going on. But when it comes to Democrats locking down states and cities and having their own corporate governmental strike against America to shut down the economy, and with them now saying they're going to hold the states hostage, even when Trump tries to turn the economy back on, and even when Trump sends the stock market back up, you know this is a bureaucratic, corporate, governmental civil war. And it's the next chapter in them trying to remove our populist president. And it tells me that with the fake Russia gate and the fake Ukraine gate and now this, if they fail taking him out with this, they're only going to escalate even more. And so my prognosis into the future is very bad. If Trump and the Pentagon and the Justice Department don't get reformed, and start taking out these globalists who are working for the Chai Coms and foreign powers. They're not American citizens. They're trying to create a collapse. They're bragging they want a depression. And the dereliction of duty by President Trump, I'm just going to say it, I love Trump. He's done a great job. He's been under total attack. But he can't get control of the Justice Department. And so we've all done a terrible job there. And it is what it is. It's going to get a lot worse. You can see the escalation, how they just keep doubling down exponentially each time. And so a lot of people are feeling really good. Oh yeah, the virus probably isn't that bad, Alex, thanks. You know, we believe you. That's not even the issue. The issue is they're talking about canceling the election. The issue is the left's trying to foment riots. The issue is the martial law and the cashless society being announced and all of this insane crap and known treatments that doctors try to give patients being blocked by Democrat governors. It's insane to confirm how crazy and criminal these people are and how they do work for the globalists and are out to get the country. We've always known that, but now it's incredibly obvious. So in future reports, I'm gonna lay out why I'm so concerned, but namely, Governments and others are hoarding food because I've talked to the supply chain experts, it's running out. And when people all stay home, that's what happens. And it could trigger a permanent depression. And so the next toilet paper is food. And this, you gotta have to live. We're covering it all live at band.video and forward slash show.